we need to improve the operations of our customers in reality, not just on paper. The system is actually very flexible because we are not using conveyors anymore. So if you want to expand it, you want to move it, it would be very easy. We've really been in the U.S. operating at scale for about two years now. And one of the most pleasant surprises to me has been the market feedback. When we talk about the value propositions that high systems can bring, we speak about things like density, throughput, but what we really promote is flexibility. And in an engineering world, flexibility can be a little bit hard to quantify, but things like variable tote sizes, storing really high, different workstations, decoupling tote from the workstation has brought an advancement to the field that previous technologies were unable to do. We're seeing the value that we engineer on paper come to life in these distribution centers. So up to date, we have over 20 customers live in the US. You know, for us, we're on a bit of a roll and I think the sky's the limit. People love the high fig. This automates the exit side of our sorter system and takes away the labor to change out full completed orders and put an empty container back beside the system for another order to sort into. It improves storage density, accessibility because you can get to any chart in the system. Between the utilization, the storage density, and the high accessibility, it's really a benefit to customers in their storage and retrieval operations. Its throughput and its flexibility have been a hit for their customers who do not want to do a big rip and replace project. You don't need to train the people for two months or three months to get them familiar with the product you have. Maybe train for five hours, the operator will be able to do the operations with a very high accuracy level. It will ease the pain to manage a warehouse in terms of storage density, efficiency, as well as accuracy and training. People have been extremely impressed with the height of this system. So our ability to scale all the way up to 10 meters, which is 32.8 feet, and then go in that three deep configuration. The vertical storage and the retrieval of products has proved to eliminate a lot of the conveyor needs that we needed for our systems, and it's helped us improve the overall throughput with our customers. HiPIC and HiTech Intro Logistics work together really in the goods and person market. There's a lot of interest in the HiPIC robot because of number one, the height, right? It's very tall, stands out among all the different robots that are there. With the HiPIC robot being able to move up to eight or 10 totes at a time, so now we're able to keep more product in the system and keep that process more efficient for the operators without having to send an order tote or the order product to another location in order to complete that order. To make sure that our customer can be really successful in the future, we make sure that we provide a lifetime services for our customers. With gray matter and high, we have been able to give very high storage density to our customer. I would say we are vertically integrated with them at all the levels. So that really helps both the team to kind of work hand in hand and work in the best interest of customer. Because of our partnership with iRobotics, we've had people stop into our booth to talk about the robot. We've been able to discuss the robot, what its capabilities are. Customers have been stopping by, trying to figure out what Honeywell is doing with Hi. Our people are working extremely hard to show what is the value that our technology can deliver to our partners as well as our end users.